Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will understand how to create the compute instance. A compute instance in Azure Machine Learning is a cloud-based virtual machine and it is used for developing and running the machine learning experiments. So let us go to Azure Machine Learning Studio and create the compute instance. So this is the Azure Machine Learning Workspace and here I have opened the Azure Machine Learning Studio. Scroll down, go to Compute. Under the Compute, we have these four options. Compute Instances, Compute Clusters, Kubernetes Clusters and Attached Computes. So from here, we can create the Compute Instances. Let us understand what exactly Compute Instance is. A compute instance is a virtual machine that includes multiple tools and environments installed for the machine learning. The primary use of the compute instance is for the development of your workstation. You can start running the sample notebooks on a compute instance without any setup. This is the big advantage of a compute instance. Scroll down. Before creating the compute instance, let us view the available quota. Right click, open in another tab and here you can see 0 cores used and 16 cores are available and this is for the dedicated core usage. Now scroll down, here you can see the virtual machine family, their usage and quota. For standard FSV2 family cluster dedicated vCPUs, 0 cores used and 16 cores are available. So this is the virtual machine family. From here you can request quota. This is the selected virtual machine. 0 cores used and 16 cores are available. You have to specify the new limit. For example 20 and then you have to submit. You can view the quota from the workspace as well. Let us see how. Go to workspace. Scroll down. Usage plus quotas. View quota. It will open another tab. Quota. Select your subscription. Then select the region. And here you can see the same dedicated course usage that is dedicated quota, zero cores used and 16 cores are available. And this is the virtual machine family. Let us create the compute instance. Click on new. These are the all details that we have to specify. First one is the required settings. From here we have to configure the required settings. Select the name and the virtual machine size you would like to use for your compute instance. And this is the important note. A compute instance cannot be shared. It can only be used by a single assigned user. By default it will be assigned to the creator. And you can change this to a different user in the security step. So this is the important note. To create the compute instance first we have to specify the name. Compute name must meet the following requirements. Name is required and must be between 3 to 24 characters long. Valid characters are upper and lower case letters, digits and dash. The compute name must start with a letter. Compute name needs to be unique across all existing computes within an Azure region. So this is the important point. You have to specify an unique name across all existing computes within an Azure region. And if dash character is used, then it needs to be followed by at least one letter. Let us specify the compute name. Compute dash instance then specify a random number. Great. Then we have to specify the virtual machine type. You can toggle between CPU and GPU virtual machine types. 
and make sure your code is written to leverage available GPU devices. As of now we are going with CPU, then the virtual machine size, you can select from the recommended options. By default this one is selected, standard ES4 V3, it has 4 cores, 32 GB RAM and 64 GB storage, category memory optimized. This is the workload type, data manipulation and training on medium sized data sets from 1 to 10 GB, then the available quota, 6 cores and this is the cost, $0.25 per hour. As well as you can select from all options, these are the options. Right click on memory optimized or you can select any of these. Then go to overview, sizes for virtual machines in Azure, let us understand this. These are the virtual machine types, first one is the general purpose, then the second one is the compute optimized, memory optimized, storage optimized, GPU and high performance compute. So these are the six virtual machine types, here you will get the sizes and the description. The general purpose is for balanced CPU to memory ratio and ideal for testing and development, small to medium databases and low to medium traffic web servers. Then the compute optimized, it has high CPU to memory ratio, good for medium traffic web servers, network applications, batch processes and application servers. Then the memory optimized, high memory to CPU ratio. Great for the relational database servers, medium to large caches and in-memory analytics. Then the storage optimized, high disk throughput and IO ideal for big data, SQL, no SQL databases, data warehousing and large transactional databases. Then the GPUs, these are the specialized virtual machines targeted for heavy graphic rendering and video editing. And at the end high performance compute, it is the fastest and most powerful CPU virtual machines with optional high throughput network interfaces. So this is all about the virtual machine types. Here I'll select this one, standard E4S V3. Category is memory optimized. So this is all about the required settings. Then scheduling. From here we can schedule the compute to start or stop on recurring basis. This is the default option. Shutdown after 60 minutes. As well as you can customize the schedules. Start compute instance. You can specify the time zone and start time as well as you can select the active days. For the stop compute instance also same. You have to select the time zone, shutdown time and active days. As of now we are not going to do this so I'll delete. Here we will go with the default option that is 60 minutes, shutdown after 60 minutes. Security, from here we can configure security settings such as SSH, virtual network, root access and managed identity for your compute instance. Let us understand these options. First one is the user assignment. This option is to create a compute instance on the behalf of another user. Then the assigned identity. You can attach system assigned or user assigned managed identities to grant access to resources. Then enable SSH access. Here you have to enter credentials for an administrator user account that will be created on each compute node. And at the end virtual machine. Use this to create compute within an existing virtual network. So here we will select all the default options. All the options are disabled. Then go to applications. Add custom applications you may want to use on your compute instance. 
this is the setup script from here you can add the applications select the application custom application or or posit workbench then you have to specify the target port published port docker image environment variables and bin mounts as of now we are not going to add applications then tags we are not going to specify any tags and at the end review from here we can review or make changes to your job before the submission here we are getting all the details that we specified required settings this is the compute name virtual machine virtual machine type scheduling security applications and tags let us create creating creating the virtual machine you can see the state as creating now it will take 2 to 3 minutes to create the compute instance so i'll fast forward the process so the compute instance is created successfully you can see the state as running idle shutdown after 1 hour these are the applications jupyter lab jupyter and vs code size created on and assign to let us explore this compute instance status running these are the resource properties last created virtual machine size processing unit estimated cost applications created on ssh access private ip address public ip address compute instance software version so these are the resource properties then attributes compute name compute type subscription id resource group and so on from here you can edit tags edit managed identities you can edit schedules as well and you can edit the custom applications so this is all about the details then jobs here you will get all the details about the jobs that we are running on this compute instance as of now there is no job then the monitoring you have to specify the time range you can refresh as well from here you can stop the compute instance you can restart the compute instance as well as you can delete the same and at the end we have this option diagnose workspace diagnostics diagnosing the workspace categories with no problems these are the categories with no problems after the diagnostics so this video about creating the compute instance ends here thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel